asked about sewing, knitting, quilting, family life, and any other random things I decide to talk about. You know, I used to have a blog called Random Thoughts Do or Die, and the die was for me, my name, Diane, and the random thoughts were because I couldn't just devote my blog to one particular thing, although most of it was quilting and sewing, with a little cooking and all kinds of random things thrown in. So I'm Diane. I live in Yorba Linda, California with my husband, Paul, and our Labradoodle, Martha Stewart. So let me start by telling you what I'm wearing. I finished another ranunculus sweater. And actually, it's not for me, it's for my granddaughter's birthday next week, so hopefully she's not going to watch this. I don't think she does. But um, I thought I'd model it for you and show you just how cute it is. It's got a beautiful lace. I even brought in a light so you can see a little bit better. Um, beautiful lace work. This is such a fun pattern because until you get to here, almost every row is different. So it goes really fast. You just want to say, oh, one more row, one more row, because you know it's different. And um, I only steam blocked it, but I have to tell you, it's itchy and it's warm. Um, it's, I made it with my MCN fingering weight in sugar pop, and I combined it with uh, a flame mohair that I no longer have. But you could combine it with this one in Plumeria for really, really would make a real vibrant orange. Or you could tone it down with this one, which is begonia. Even tone it down more with Jupiter. Or you could go with a pink pop. This is azalea. Or tone it down even more with French linen. There's so many things you can do with combining two fibers and two colors. Um, this one, uh, I, it's supposed to be knit on a size 10 needle. I knit it on a 10 and a half and I did the, I think it's called the wide neck, which when I made my own I did the close neck and I wish I would have done this. I might rip mine out and start all over again because it's such a fast knit. I knit it in, I think, four days. Um, and it's just uh, so light and airy, but it is warm with the mohair in it. Um, and another couple of uh, combinations that I have in the shop right now, I thought this would be really cute. Crispy and cream de mint. Christy was named after Christy Glass because right when she came to interview me, I had just dyed this colorway and it reminded me of her throwback sweater. So I uh, named it after her. So there's lots you can do. You can combine this yellow, which is Daisy and Jupiter. That would tone it down really pretty. Or you can bring in some of the other colors with Begonia. French linen, just so many combinations. I'm a little low on stock right now because I've been dying a really huge uh, wholesale order, my first wholesale order, and I can't even tell you who it's for yet, but I'm very, very excited about it. And some of the colorways I will be introducing into my shop, um, and I'll show you a few of those later in the show. Um, so, oh, the other thing I finished was this skirt and it's, it's a high-waisted skirt, but what I did was I, I can show you it has pockets, but what I did was I disassembled, or actually cut off, my Charlie caftan, because I never liked the way it fit on the top. It was too low, too plungy, too sloppy looking for my taste. So I just cut it off above the, um, the insert waist that it has, and folded it over, put it in elastic, and now I've got a skirt to wear around the house. So it's really fun and nice and cool for summer. <clears throat> Hello, I've just been talking to you for about 10 minutes and realized that I didn't start the camera again. So, as you can see, I've changed my clothes because that sweater was way too hot. 
And uh, so I changed into this Ashton tank that I made. Um, and it's out of the remnants of what was left of a dress I'm going to show you also. So the Ashton tank, I'm not happy with the dart. I don't know, it looks weird and puckery, so I might take it apart and see if I can fix it. Um, but it's, it's with the remaining fabric of what was left from my uniform tunic by Grain Line Studios. And I did the hack that was on their blog of um, a cuff sleeve, and I lengthened it to a dress length, so it's not a tunic length. But it's really cute, it's got these pockets. It's a pretty simple style and fit it's here on my Beatrice body form and <clears throat> it's made with fabric from Blackbird fabric uh, I think it's a viscose linen um, I'll, I'll link it below to let you know what it is and then you can also see the quilt that's behind me and I'll show you a full picture of that uh, either before or after the video um, this is a pattern by Cluck Cluck Sews and it's a Christmas house quilt and with some Christmas trees and it's for my daughter-in-law's 40th birthday which was last November um, and I told her I was making her something and she knew she'd get it from me somewhere um, so I'm finally gonna give it to her next month when we see them no I think we're not seeing them till October um, but almost a year late but just in time for Christmas um, it's got a cute print on the back that's a Christmas print and I had my friend Jennifer of Knotted Thread quilt it. And it's got a candy cane stripe binding. Um, all the fabrics are not Christmassy, but they're in sort of a, a Christmas color palette. And um, I think she's gonna really like it. Uh, um, I had a really busy couple of weeks since I saw you last. I uh, I did a show, I, it was a real fluke sort of a conversation on Instagram. Um, one of my customers had shown her and three friends with their Soldatna crop sweaters on and she said lots of your beautiful yarn in this photo. And so in a conversation with them, they invited me to come up to their little knitting group and they said, and bring some yarn. So I went up, uh, my husband and I drove up to Santa Barbara. It was a five and a half hour round trip. Um, that's just the driving time um, and and stayed up there for about three hours having lunch with them and chatting and had a little trunk show and sold a lot of yarn which was fun and um, met some new friends so that was a nice little connection to have and then I got asked to do a wholesale order and that was very, very exciting for me because just when I thought, oh, my business is slowing down for the summer, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna build some business? I got asked to do a wholesale order and I can't tell you who it's for, but um, I will be sharing little bits of uh, the colors. She asked me not to release them for sale until she releases them in her club, but um, uh, I can show you some of them to start with. And these, I think, are the most gorgeous combination. Somebody really needs to get all six of these and put them together because I think they are just stunning. I don't know if you can see that one. And so what we have here is asparagus. And this little grouping I, I named for um, part of France that I absolutely love. There's a, an Instagram that I follow, and I've been following them even before I uh, was dyeing yarn. They're called uh, A Cook's Atelier, and they have the most gorgeous photos on their Instagram. They're a little shop in Boone, France, and we've actually been to Boone. I wish I knew about them when we were there, but of course there was no Instagram when we were there. because It was in 2001, after, right after 9-11. We had a big plan, trip planned, and when 9-11 happened, we said, we're still going. So um, the friends that were supposed to go with us didn't, but um, we went and had one of the best vacations we've ever had. And Boone was one of the places that we stayed and we fell in love with it. 
And now I want to go back to see this little shop that she has. It's sort of a, a cook's um, uh, supply shop. Um, but anyway, uh, this color is called Lavender Fields Forever. And if you've ever seen gorgeous photos of lavender in bloom, with the greens and purples, soft gray greens, it's just beautiful. This, this is the, the photo that started it all, was a photo of white asparagus. So I call this asparagus blanc. I do not have a French accent. Um, and then this one is when in France. And this reminded me of the fields of grapes in harvest as the leaves are turning golden to brown and the grapes are deep dark purples. This one is called Rainbow Over Lilacs. If you can imagine the sun setting behind a field of lilacs, that's really pretty. <clears throat> and the last one is called I Dream of Lilac Time. All gorgeous. I've been knitting a lot. Uh, I told you I wanted to make a soldatna cardigan, so I started that, and I, I got really far fast, and then I hit Sleeve Island. And usually sleeves don't bother me, but these sleeves are color work sleeves, and not only is it color work sleeves, but I'm alternating skeins for the background color so that I don't get any pooling and um, it's boring and tedious. But there's the sleeve. I'm more than halfway finished with the first sleeve. I've got the front done and those are all the seek stitches down the front. That's why it doesn't look like it matches. And I've got a nice twisted rib here. And so once I, once I do my placket up the front and cut it, it'll be nice and roomy and really cute. Um, I'm looking forward to wearing this at Christmas time, maybe even taking a Christmas photo in it. Uh, the colors I'm using are my own hand dyed uh, DK tweed, and this is poinsettia. The blue is have a minty little Christmas. The green is blue spruce, and the gold is salted caramel. These are all on um, DK Tweed, as I said, and I've been um, steam blocking it as I go, just to see if I like the colors. I think I do. I'm going to be offering kits for this as soon as I get it made so I can get some pictures done. Um, but like I said, this wholesale order has taken up a lot of my time. Um, so that's that, and uh, what else? Oh, I've been working, I started a The Adventurous Wrap um, by Amba O'Brien, and this is made with a, um, my first and only advent calendar kit that I bought a few years ago. I think it was from Barnyard, Barnyard Yarns, Barnyard Knits, um, but it's it's going to be a really big shawl because this is only half of it. Um, you make two triangle triangular shawls and then sew them together, and it's on her silver Stellina fingering weight base. Um, this one fades from creams to yellows to browns. And then the other section will fade from um, sort of peachy creams, creamy peaches, to blues. Um, so the, I'll get a lot of use out of this because there will be so many colors in it, it will go with almost everything I own. Um, and I want to finish that in time to take on an Alaskan cruise that we've booked for the end of September. Um, I didn't make any progress on my shifty, but I thought I'd show it to you again maybe shame me into working on it. I just find it sort of boring. And, um, but this would be a good one to take on the cruise to work on because the yarn is so beautiful. It's spin cycle, but um, 
I just needed something different, so I've been working on a few other projects. I think it's really pretty, though. Let's see if I can put it on without taking the stitches off. So I don't think I've made much progress since the last time I showed it to you, but it's going to be really cute once it gets on there, gets blocked. Ah, I haven't even added the third color yet. This is still the first two color combinations. Oh, did I slip off? I did it again. Goodness gracious, I slipped it off the needles again. Those darn little things don't hold on very well. I'll have to work on that. I think it went down my shirt. Um, so that's what I've been working on. And then I pulled out an old work in progress that I had started last year and I finished the first sock last year. Um, it's just a knit three purl one rib. And this is out of my MCN base. And the colorway was called pink lemonade and I needed a real good little travel project to take to water polo games because our grandson has been playing water polo and it's so exciting for our family because my husband played all four of our sons played and now our grandson is playing and he was never into water polo he never even wanted to play water polo but he um, he had a pretty bad knee injury last year and had to have knee surgery and so for therapy they put him in the water in the pool and he like they say he took to it like a duck to water because he is such a good athlete and um, found that not only is he good at it but he really really likes it so he even played he got moved up to varsity as a freshman and this year he's a sophomore and so I need a little project to work on while we're there and I'm not a real good knitter and watch game kind of person so I watch and then I knit a little bit, but mostly I watch the game. And um, so I've started the second sock, haven't made much progress on it, but it's just something to have to work on while I'm there to feel like I'm getting something done. And I haven't made a list of what my next project will be. I know I want to make a shawl, another shawl, and I really want to make this giant cabled sweater that was in Lane Magazine, um, and Caddy Jack's Jackie made it, and it is stunning. I, I'll have to look it up and maybe show it to you next time. But I don't really know what, where I'm gonna go next after I finish some of these, but I wanna get some of these finished because they feel like they've been in the works for a while. Um, okay, let's see what else I have here to talk about. I told you about the dyeing. And I told you about what I've been making. So I think that's about it. I don't know anything else since I messed up and didn't press the button after I changed my clothes. I hope I covered everything that I had left before. Um, but yeah, so it's been so hot here. I uh, over we had several days over 100 and when I'm dyeing yarn out in the garage oh my goodness it is stifling we set up a uh, fan out there for me and we keep the garage door open which helps circulate the air and then our garage door broke so we went a day and a half without being able to open the garage door so I put dyeing aside for a few days um, I have one more colorway to dye for my my big order and then I'm finished and I can start on fall colorways for my shop. Um, and then I'm vending in November at Stitches SoCal. And so I've got to start working on that too because I want to have like 500 skeins of yarn to take to that. So um, keep your fingers crossed because I need all the help I can get getting it all finished. Um, I love dyeing this yarn and I love the conversations and you know, having been in business almost a year now, it'll be a year next month, I'm starting to pop up on Instagram being tagged by, um, by my buyers that they've finished projects and they're all so pretty. So I will try and show some of those here at the end too. Um, other than that, I think that's about it for me. Uh, we're going out tonight with my high school girlfriend and her husband 
and we always go out for our birthdays. Our birthdays were both in July, and uh, so this is the day we can get together. Um, it was great to talk with you, and hopefully I won't wait a month to do it again. Thank you so, so much for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, you could subscribe, and you can even press the little bell to get notified when I have a new, um, a new video. I love that you've taken the time to stay here and hear what I have to say. I felt a little bit more comfortable this time um, talking about some of the things I love and some of the things I've made. I have more to show you and I will save it for next time. So until then, bye, thank you.